Hello everybody, Little Simmer here, and welcome back to another speed build. This house came out so pretty. It's kind of like a little cottage. It's a one bedroom, one bathroom, so it's not very big. I have actually had this house, it was a picture that I found on Google a long time ago. Like, I have been planning on doing this house for quite some time. Um... And I just never got around to it. And I had a bunch of pictures of different cottages and stuff. So, And I don't remember downloading them. But apparently I have been planning on building this house for a while. And so here we are. I'm finally getting around to it. And it turned out so pretty. And I built this house in Moonlit Falls. And I'm actually building it on the same lot that I built my fantasy cottage. a lot. Like I think it was a couple years ago. It just looked like a Moonlit Falls kind of house, and I really needed a small lot, and I really wanted it to be in, like, like a secluded area. Um, and so, yeah, that's where, you know, the, this house came from. And I didn't have a picture of the floor plan, so I kind of made up the floor plan, you know, as I went. And I did it, I did the floor plan off camera, and I also decorated the bathroom off camera. Because, you know, you, who needs to see? You don't need to see the decoration of a bathroom. It's pretty straightforward. Um, but yeah, I have been pretty okay. Um, I'm in the process of looking for a new microphone. Those of you who have, who have been around a while, probably, I don't know if you remember this or not, but I upgraded from my headset microphone to... A little bit more, it's a little bit better than my old one. Um, it doesn't have weird humming in the background, um, like my headset did. But um, I learned that I need a boom arm, and I need a much better microphone. Because I want to I wanna have the best sounding quality that I can afford. Um, and so that's what I've, you know, that's what I've been up to, just looking for that. I also got a new phone. I had a iPhone 7 before and I've had it for like three or four years and my boyfriend bought it for me when we first got together um because I've been wanting to switch to iPhone for a while. I had a Android before and I've been really wanting an iPhone and I upgraded it was a really big jump. I upgraded from an iPhone 7 to an iPhone 14 plus. It was a huge jump, and I can definitely tell that it was a huge jump, because it's just so much better. It's so much bigger. Like, it, like <laughs> my small hands, like, I can barely, like, fit it in my hands. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, might, I accidentally hit my microphone. <laughs> um, but, yeah, how is everybody else doing? Um... That's pretty much all the exciting stuff that that has been going on in my life. Just new phone, um, looking for a new microphone, working, um, trying to train our new dog, things like that. Um, the name of this house, I thought it was really pretty. Um, I named it Moonlight Ridge because I built it in Moonlit Falls. Get it? <laughs> I'm so original, you guys. It's, but yeah, like the inside, it was so pretty. Like usually, when I build houses, I decorate them first, like off camera, just to like get an idea of what I want to do, and then I like delete everything, and then I like kind of go back and like, all right, that's what I was gonna do, but I didn't do that in this video. Um, I didn't build it beforehand I just I was just looking at the picture that I had and in the picture that I had there was like a really pretty front yard that had a that that had a fence and the backyard didn't the front yard was actually kind of a lot bigger than the backyard um and I think it just it just turned out so pretty and this house will be available to, to download on Sim File Share. And that'll be in the description. The link for that will be down below. 
Um, but yeah, this house, like, oh my god, and the landscaping and everything, um, it just, oh my gosh, because cottages usually have, like, a lot of flowers, and I go crazy with flowers. Um, it just, and I put a really pretty, yeah, we're doing it right now, um, I'm trying to find a, you know, this thing, yeah. <laughs> Like a table and chairs with like an umbrella type of thing. Um, I didn't recolor that because I didn't think that it was necessary. Because it's just outside furniture. <laughs> Who cares what the outside furniture looks like? And it kind of actually goes with the house. The the darker wood and the yellowish, um, the yellow umbrella thing. It kind of goes with the house, so I didn't really need to recolor anything so we're working on the flowers right now and all of that stuff and I am I'm just so beyond happy with how this house turned out um you'll see me a lot trying to find um sizes of plants that works <laughs> so there's gonna be a lot of placing random placing a lot of copies of of the of different flowers and bushes and stuff until you until I find the right um the right size cuz I kind of needed smaller sizes of everything of you know like that that bush that's right there I need a small size of that cuz this house isn't big and the lot's not big um but I completely fill up the yard pretty much with um like the heathers yeah here we go <laughs> it started already um, but yeah, I completely fill up the, um, almost completely filled up the yard with, you know, the heathers and bushes and flowers and blah, blah, blah. And I started playing around right here with different, with, with a different kind of bush on the other side of the stair. And I was like, mm, I think eventually I'd just turn it into the other one. That's on the other side because I didn't think it looked right. I wanted it to kind of, because I, I know I really wanted the purple flowers there that, that I had on the other one, if that makes any sense. I can't remember what they're called. Lavender, I think is what it's called. Um, and a thing that I really love about having a house on a foundation, because I almost didn't put this house on a foundation, but I knew if I did that, I wouldn't be able to do this right here that I'm doing. Because the flowers would have just, like, poked in through the house. And who wants that? <laughs> I mean, I love flowers as much as the next person. But I don't like them in my house. Not in pots, anyway. I don't like them... Sh I, don't, I, don't, well, I don't like them glitching through my wall. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, I put a really pretty walkway here. And then I'm pretty sure I put another one going from the backyard to the front yard. And looking back on it, I should have made it a different type of pathway. But I feel like it, it just goes really good with this house. And right now we're just going in and we're putting some trees in, trying to fill up the space. And I do this really pretty trick where I put really big bushes behind the tree. Or in front of the tree. I put it in front of the tree. That's neat. I forgot that I did that. And I've been doing this thing where I'll put heathers underneath trees and I'll put a bush and a couple flowers beside it. And it makes it look more cottagey, if that makes any sense. And then I put some dirt underneath it. It just looks better than just a plain tree on the ground with nothing below, with nothing below it. It looks better, in my opinion. Um... And I kind of tried to do a thing, like more detailed thing. If you can see by that fence right there, or by that gate, I put some dirt on the outside of it to make it look like, you know, you swung open the gate and dirt flew everywhere, if that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody else. But I tried to be, I tried to be a little bit more detailed in this speed build. Because um, I feel like in my other ones... I just haven't really cared about the details at all. Um, and this house is actually, it's very open. Like there's the only like walls that are inside are for the, 
bathroom. And I did a really pretty trick, we'll probably see here in just a second, um, where I put, I think it's it's the same fencing that we have on the back porch there. Um, I put it inside to kind of, you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. I think we go inside after we finish this up, after we finish the um, the the plants and everything. Um, but yeah, I put the fence in there to kind of uh, signify where I wanted my bedroom to be, and you'll see when we get inside. And the walls are a really pretty, like mint color, and yeah. It's just so, I just love how this house turned out. It's just, oh my god. And there's there's a lot of plants in this house. I struggled for just a second with how I wanted the layout to be. Um, but I eventually got there. Um, it didn't take me long to figure out how I wanted the layout to be. It just took me a, f a couple seconds. It just took me a few seconds of looking at it and being like, okay. And I, and I, lo and I looked at it. Like, while I was off, like, off camera, too, I didn't, like, lay out anything yet. But I was just looking at it, trying to figure out <clears throat> how I wanted things to be. But, yeah, if you look behind the couch and everything right there, you'll see the, um, you'll see the, the fence and stuff. It kind of signified it, I, and, I, and I put, like, a little, um, a column there. I guess thought it looked cute and I had that idea last night and I've, I haven't seen anybody else do it so I was like you know what I'm gonna do it <laughs> I'm gonna see what this looks like and I actually really liked it and I thought this kitchen table was really cute I just downloaded it like a couple days ago and I haven't used it yet and I thought it was real oh my god it was so cute and there will be screenshots of everything at the end of this video like there is with all my other ones. And so you'll kind of see, and there will there'll, there'll, and there will be, I think there's this, I'm not sure if there's a screenshot of um, the bathroom or not, but um, there's definitely one of every other room in the house. Uh, but I'm pretty, like, you'll be able to see the bathroom through the, you know, the, the, the speed build and everything. Um, but yeah, here's the little eating area, little, you know, little kitchen. I don't imagine a fam a fa I don't I don't think a family would be able to live in this house. I don't even think a couple would be able to live in this house. I think one sim would be able to live here. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Um I really want to like move in a sim. Maybe I think I said this in my fantasy cottage too, but maybe like a fairy or like a supernatural of some kind. Because um, I can definitely see myself playing um, in this in this house. It's so cute. The only thing is I wouldn't be able to have a, a car because the lot's not big enough for a car and everything. That's the only thing that kind of sucks. I'd have to have a cab everywhere. Um... <laughs> But I'd I'd ha I'd 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 have to make it work. Um, but yeah, I'd make it work. It's just one of those things, and we're doing up the kitchen now. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, how is everybody else doing? My last video, my last speed build, has gotten a lot of views already. It's it's not it's not it's not a lot to like bigger YouTubers, but to me, like it's. Just the fact that you guys are, like, still here and I'm still getting, like, subscribers and you guys really seem to love um, the, the stuff that I'm putting out. And that means, a, that, that really means a lot to me. And I'm so glad that you guys are still here and I'm so glad that you guys are watching, those of you that are watching. And I really hope that you guys, you know, have, have been liking my stuff because I've been really having a, I've been having a really good time building houses um especially since my my game has no performance issues at all anymore um partly because 
of the mod that I installed that makes everything run smoother that I mentioned in my last couple videos, but also because of the upgrades that me and my best friend and my boyfriend did to my computer. Um, and I have them to thank for it. Like I wouldn't be able to do this without them because they're the ones that upgraded my computer. Um, but yeah, that's, I'm really excited to be back and I'm really, I'm pumped. I'm just pumped. I'm thrilled to be back and I hope that you guys are happy to see me. And I have talked my way through all the way to the bedroom and I think I put, yeah, I put the, the bed and everything in that little corner and then I put a like study area in the other corner that's like right outside of the bedroom. So it's a little bit of a weird layout for a bedroom, but I thought it looked really nice. And, but yeah, I thought it was really nice. I don't remember. Do I put a dresser? I think, yeah, I put, I, okay, so it could, yeah, because it wasn't fitting, like a bigger one wasn't fitting. And so I tried the littler one and it worked out just fine. Um, but yeah, the more that I'm looking at this house, the more I really want to move a sim in. I don't know what she had when, because I, I put a bowl, like a food bowl, for like an animal. But I'm wondering if an animal, like if a dog bed would, a dog bed would fit. For sure, right? Like there's a couple different places where, I'm sorry, I think I just hit my microphone again. But there's a couple of different places where a dog bed could fit. I'll make one fit. <laughs> well, who am I kidding? I'll make one fit. I'm having a dog in this house. Um, but yeah, 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 where we put like a little study corner here. We put, I, she has a computer. And I think by the time everything is out, it's not that expensive of a house. Like after everything is done, it's like 40 something thousand simoleons. So you won't have to work very hard. Like if you want to, you know, move your sim in. Um, but I think I'm going to leave you guys here with some music because I think we're coming up to the end of this video. So I will love you and leave you here and don't forget to comment and subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next one.